and welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in a previous episode, I talked about my entire journey to the perfect Linux laptop, and it was almost perfect except for one thing. So thanks to all of your ideas and comments, especially one in particular, I will be upgrading to have that perfect Linux laptop, at least for now. And so you have not seen that video, I will leave it in the description area below. So let me give you a quick rundown of my entire journey and how I got to this point. Now originally I needed a laptop so I could run Windows 10. And you're probably thinking that has nothing to do with Linux, but let me go ahead and explain that. Now the work that I do, I do digital marketing, and so that requires certain programs that only runs in Windows. So that's why I needed a Windows 10 laptop. And then for the majority of all the other digital marketing work that I do, you primarily just need your internet browser and that's it. And so because of that, I decided to get this Dell laptop. And so I didn't think I needed a real powerful machine because I just figured having an internet browser and a few applications, it would just be fine. Now this laptop, it retails for I think about $199, but I did get it on sale for like 150 bucks. But the thing is, just even simple internet browsing on this laptop was absolutely horrible. I just simply forgot how many resources Windows 10 takes. Now, I've been running Linux as my primary operating system for years now. And I do have Windows 10 running in a virtual machine, but that's on my much more powerful desktop. And so, definitely not a good experience. And I would not recommend you get these laptops even for simple web browsing. Unless you're going to wipe out Windows and put Linux on it and then you'll be okay. So because of that, I had to buy another laptop. And that laptop was this HP laptop right here. This is about $300, and it did have more power, and it did allow me to do all my digital marketing work, and even content creation up to 1080p. And that's where the problem came in, because I do 4K content on my desktop, and I really felt like this was limiting, because I couldn't do 4K. And so I had to do another upgrade and I didn't even have this laptop for more than three months. And so the laptop that I got, which is my almost perfect Linux laptop, is another HP laptop. Now this one is $500. It definitely has more power than all the other ones. And it allowed me to do 4K content creation because now I can do my digital marketing and content creation all on one single laptop. Now the one thing that kept it from being perfect is the fact that it only has a 128 gig SSD. And for me, that's really not enough. I would have preferred for it to have at least a terabyte uh, like the other $300 laptop, or better yet, have the SSD and a terabyte of space. And that's actually what I'm gonna do today. Uh, thanks to a viewer who recommended, uh, I do have a DVD drive right here, but I could replace this and put in a caddy to actually have a hard drive in there and so that's actually what I did. I actually purchased this caddy right here. And I will leave this in the description area below. It'll be an affiliate link, by the way, if you want to get this. And so here is the caddy. And so what this will allow me to do is to actually uh, take out my optical disk drive, my DVD drive, and then use this. And what it allowed me to do is actually uh, put in a hard drive right here. So I'm going to put a terabyte of hard drive space in here and just stick it in the whole DVD ROM drive. And the thing is, because I can't return these laptops because it's already past the return date, I can still use the hardware in here. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm actually gonna open this up and then take the hard drive out of it and actually put it in this particular computer. Now, I could also take out the memory as well, but unfortunately, this laptop and this HP laptop only has one uh, slot for RAM and so I could not upgrade it. I would have loved to do both. But just having more storage is more than enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll go ahead and upgrade it to make it the perfect Linux laptop. Okay, so first things first is tools. So I highly recommend that you get one that is a flathead and another one that is a Phillips screwdriver. And then another thing is some type of flat card, like maybe a credit card because these HP laptops are absolutely a pain to actually disassemble to get to everything. And so if you have this HP laptop like I have, I will leave the model number on the screen below. And so you're going to have to remove these screws right here, these four screws. And there's also this rubber section that you have to peel off and unfortunately it's going to mess things up. But there's more screws down here on these two rubber stops. So be sure to take that out. 
And once you do take it out, you'll be able to remove uh, your optical drive, at least for this particular laptop, it does have a DVD drive. And then whenever you do all of that, when you open it up right here, this is where you're gonna need your actual uh, flathead screw right here. So you could actually you know, just poke under here and then you're going to use your card and you're going to go all the way around and uh, it's a pain in the butt but I'm going to show you how it looks like on the inside. And so once you get all that out then you can actually open it up. And as you can see right here, everything's laid out really cleanly. Here's the battery. Here is your slot for your RAM. This actually has four gigs of RAM. And the hard drive was right here, but I've already taken it off, okay? So this is a one terabyte hard drive or 1,000 gigs, and this is exactly what I wanted. Now, I also wanted to take the RAM as well, but the other HP laptop that I have, it's built pretty much the same, so it only has one RAM slot, so it wouldn't make sense for me to take this out, but at least I can use this. It would have been great if I would able to use a RAM as well, because then I could upgrade both the RAM and the hard drive space, but that's not the case. And so let me go ahead and move this out of the way. So here's my new HP laptop, and as I just mentioned, it's designed pretty much exactly the same. It's obviously, this is higher quality material. So the thing is, since I know it only has one RAM slot, I'm pretty sure of it then it wouldn't make sense for me to go through the trouble of taking this apart. And at the same time, I just don't want to damage this particular computer. So all I really need is this optical drive. I just need to remove this DVD drive. So then I could actually use this caddy right here. You know, just simply put the hard drive in here. Right there, there's a little uh, spot for it. As you can see right there. Just push that in. And then it actually comes with the uh, screws. And I will just go ahead and tie that up and I will put it in right here where this optical drive is at. Now this caddy also comes with this little cover as well. This is a DVD cover, but I'm going to use the one that's already here so that it matches. So let me go ahead and unscrew this and then replace it with this. So as you can see there, that was a very simple process. I just unscrewed these two right here. And the optical drive comes right out. And so all I need now is to actually take this cover off. And then you, know, you can see the back right there. If I actually uh, push that in, it'll go ahead and connect to the computer. So I just want this actual front plate. And see, it just pops right off. No problem. And then here, now that I already have my hard drive here, matching a face plate just go ahead and plug this in and it should match just fine and there it is you know and all i have to do is just go ahead and put this back in the laptop and then i just go ahead and screw things back in so as you can see there everything looks just perfect you know the only thing is i won't be able to press this and it won't pop out because obviously there's no more optical drive in there but it looks just fine and the only thing left to do is actually to go ahead and start up the laptop to make sure we now see an extra terabyte worth of storage. All right, so now that I booted up to my Linux laptop, let's check to see if we see the drive. All right, it's right there, 995 gigs. And then if I actually go here to my administration and go to Disk Usage Analyzer, there it is. So the, here's my SSD. And I have my new 995 gigs. Not quite a terabyte, but pretty close. So what I'm going to do is, all I have to do is just format this. But this is awesome. Now I actually have upgraded my Linux laptop. And so the main problem I had earlier, as I mentioned, is I did not have enough hard drive space. But now I have what I want. And at least right now for me, this is officially my perfect Linux laptop. And so if you had any thoughts on this, uh, whether you've done something similar or you had any other questions on anything I did here, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, 
all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.